So before we get to this video, guys, I want to talk to you about foottrading.co.uk. I know a lot of you guys already know about foottrading.co.uk, but for those of you who don't, it's bigger and better than ever. This is a website that was created by myself and Dan, aka V273, where we brought together our knowledge of the market into one place. It's here to help you guys make coins. Essentially, we have free trading guides that anyone can read. You just need to sign up for an account and you can read these free trading guides on special card trading, silver trading and icon trading. It will help you, give you the tools you need to make coins in this game. For £10 a month, you get access to our buy and price spreadsheets. These have buy and sell prices for literally hundreds of cards on this market. The last update on this, we had 900 special cards plus on there. We're buying and selling prices. Every single profitable silver filter on this game is in our silver spreadsheet. A new update went live for that a couple, maybe two or three days ago. People are making huge amounts of coins from that. And yesterday's update from Icons had over 100 Icons on there. Again, we're buying and selling prices to guarantee you make profit. Uh, Thursday flips, these are little extra sort of tips you guys can do in terms of buying into players and selling them for weekend league, making big profit from those. And for £15 a month, gets you access to live filters. Uh, for essentially what this is, is some of the best filters on the game that we can find that not many people are using. You guys go out and snipe those players and make absolutely big, big profit out of it. We have guys making three to five million coins a week from this website alone, making huge, huge profits. Um, but yeah, so go check it out, whatever you do. We work, up, we work really, really hard on it. Yesterday, we updated it before the team of the year, the team of the seasons came out. And yeah, it was okay. And then we saw that the market come down. So we re-updated it again, literally three hours later to make sure that our guys who are subscribed to the website are making as much profit as possible. So check out fluctrading.co.uk for all your trading needs. But for now, let's get into it. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, please do consider subscribing down below, clicking that like button, all that good stuff. It's massively appreciated. It helps the channel to continue growing. You guys have been smashing over 100 likes on pretty much every single video I've brought out recently which is utterly insane, so thank you so much for that. Um, and like I say, if you, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you get two slash three videos a day now. This is the start of increasing our, our content um, coming out. We, we always do minimum one slash two videos a day. We're now gonna be doing two slash three without fail. We have a video editor who's now gonna be editing videos to mean that I can just bang out as much content as I can for you guys to keep you entertained. We've got a couple more collaborations in the pipeline with some other content creators. If you guys haven't seen it yet, did a team takedown with Tom, uh, Capcom Tom recently. We've got some more collaborations, been asked on to a couple more. So they'll be recorded hopefully in the coming few days and weeks. Uh, you should see those on the channel, which is really cool. Um, but this video is a weird, a weird one in terms of why, I guess, I, I sort of sat there and thought, why does this, the people want this video? Um, if you want to watch me do this stuff live, link down below, come over to Twitch. It's a lot easier for me to answer your questions, by the way. I, I try and answer some in the comments section as much as I can, uh, but it's a lot easier for me to do it uh, on, on Twitch. So if you want to come over to Twitch, make sure you click the link down below. Um, but you guys have been asking for this video, and it is how to do the Combable and Libertadores SBCs effectively. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking for this on the League SBC videos, and I sort of sat there at first, and I was like, well, why do you want the Combable uh, and Sudamericano and Libertadores SBCs on there? Because... Inherently, you get those players through League SBC method. You get them through the grind. But then it dawned on me that not all of you are either doing the League SBC method or those of you that are doing League SBC method might not be focusing on certain leagues and might not be getting the players quite quickly enough for those leagues. Now, the first thing to note about those SBCs is they are dirt cheap for the price they cost. Dirt cheap. Um, if you look at if you look at Footbin first, actually, look at Footbin first. Footbin has the Libertadores down at 87k, um, 87.45k, and the Sudamerica at 74k. Now, I'm telling you now, part of League SBC, you can do them for free. So that's, a red, that's, that's, that's something to know. But they do not cost 87k to do. They do not cost that, that anywhere near that to do. What we need to do first, we're going to go and look at the SBCs themselves and sort of get an idea of them. I'm sure some of you have seen them before, but let's look at the Commodore Libertadores, right, for example. So we look at this one, and the best pack you can get from it is a rare Electrum pack. The next best pack is a rare Mixed Players pack, a rare Silver Players pack. Now, these three packs alone, it's 30k on the rare Electrum. I think it's 20k on the rare Mixed Give or Take in value, and the rare Silver Players is 15k in, in terms of value, right? Give or Take. Now, that's already 65k worth of packs back. When you have the Premium Mixed Player pack, which I think has a 12.5k value, you pretty much got your value back in terms of packs on this SBC. However, it's important to also note when you do this SBC, if we look at the reward details, you also get an 88 rated Lopez from doing this SBC. So let's say you do spend 87k on this on this SBC. The Lopez alone is about 35k at the moment's value, plus a little bit more in terms of the fact that when Fodder goes up, he climbs. 
in my opinion, the minimum sort of value you put on 88 rated cards in this game is about 40k. Because that's when you need an 88 rated card, that's when you get it right. So you've already got this card. Also, an infinitely usable card, as is this Perez. The card those I'd ignore, but the Perez is infinitely usable. You're getting a very, very good card for the cost. It's an absolutely, they're both very good cards. Both strong link each other, and they also link into Mr. Bustos for the Libertadores, which is even cheaper. Even cheaper. In my opinion, Bustos is the best one to take from this, but Rev is quite good. Um, but you're getting, essentially, a very good triangle in your team for 150k that, that there's never been, in my opinion, a valuable SBC like this. I, I don't think there's ever been an SBC of value like this. But the problem with these SBCs isn't these ones here. The problem with these SBCs is the silver players, the silver packs. So these ones here. So this one's not too bad, but as you get further on, the ones that tend to be more expensive, 72 rated, the 74 rated, the 70 rated, they tend to be a bit more expensive to do. Um, like nigh on here. These are the ones that just cost the most. Um, the reason being they're high-end silvers. Silvers, obviously, like you guys know, I trade with silvers. They have a very good like value, very expensive value. Um... So they're the ones I think that people trip over, up over most. And they're like, well, how much do I have to spend on these, on these teams? Now, like I say, the first thing to note about this SBC, it's very difficult to lose coins on. In fact, it's nine impossible just doing it standardly. Because you've got to account for the 88 rated cards you're getting, which is straight away, in my opinion, 40k. That's half your value back. Now, the rare Electrum pack and the rare Mixed Player pack are co cover that on top in terms of value. You've made, you made your money back in terms of pack value. Not necessarily players you get from the packs, but from pack value. But if you really want to cover yourself off here, there are ways that you can make this cheaper for yourself. Now, the first thing to note about this SPC is do not do these SPCs and these ones here, the silver ones, early in the week. Just don't ever do it. The, top, the worst times, in my opinion, to do these SPCs are probably up until, on from, from Saturday until b b before 6pm Tuesdays. They are the worst times to do these SPCs. The reason being... The last big silver supply we would have got on the market would have been marking matchups on the Thursday, okay? That would have been the last good set of silver supply that we've gone and got. So the question mark then goes, okay, so if that's when we've got silver supply, when's the best time to do this? Now, the best time to do silvers for these is Thursday. When we get silver supply, silver prices crash, and a lot of these cards get listed very, very cheaply. When I need to do these SPCs, I try and do them on Thursdays. Cards that are normally 2,000 coins, I can usually get for 300 coins. So that's the first thing to note. Time is important here. However, the like the ones that are like, for example, let's go look at Sudamericana for now. The ones that are mainly gold players. So look at the Argentinian one. You can probably do the Chilean one relatively cheaply as well. We've got with gold players. Um, the ones that are like that do them any time. Doesn't really make a huge difference. But again, the Sudamericana is a 74k SBC. You get a 40k player out back out of it. So then you're really looking at maybe 35k left. You need to get back now a premium gold players pack and a small prime mixed players pack probably covers that value. If I mean these three here cover that value. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't mean necessarily you're going to hit someone great. Um, but that's the value of the packs themselves, pardon me. <clears throat> but, there's a big but to this. It's a law of probabilities. It's what I say to you guys with League SBC method. When you do League SBC method, your chances are eventually you will hit something. The chances are you're going to hit something eventually. The question mark then lies in, how often can you do these SBCs a week? Now, for 74k, if you guys are doing these SBCs, there's no reason why you're not getting back in my opinion, at least sort of 40k from the packs. Now, if you look at if you look at these packs, premium silver pack, jumbo silver pack, small electron players pack, small prime silver players pack, small silver players pack, no, sorry, sorry, silver players pack, jumbo premium silver players pack, small electron pack, small prime mix, you are eventually going to hit some decent silvers. There's no reason why you're not making back the extra 40k that you need to make back with outside of that player. But I did this the other day, and I'm going to test it out for you guys as part of the video in terms of what you can get back from doing this from scratch, okay? What you can get back from this from scratch. So it'll be part two of this video, will be me doing... The Sudamericana and the Libertadores from scratch. Without having to, without like using the players in my club. If I do use players in my club, I'll mark down the value they are on the market at the time. Um, but how much you can make back from these so you guys can see that. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. And it's to give you guys an idea. But let's talk about building these players now. I've seen so many videos go out there and go, right, click on this one here. Then go to Squad Building Challenges and click on one and look at the... the the sort of, uh, what's it called? The solutions that you get from that. So let's go and click on Argentina, for example. Now you'll go here and you'll look at Argentina. So this is the gold ones. The gold ones are not so bad. But the worst thing you can do, in my opinion, is click on one of these. Because what happens is everyone comes over to the and they go, right, let me click on the 10,350 one. And you go and click on this. And now I had to look a minute ago. And some of these players are way more than they say they are on footbin. So I look at this and I go, okay, cool. So this is that there. Let's look at Pizarro, for example. You click on it and you go, okay, cool. Because these are in solutions, they're more expensive. Because these are solutions, so this Rodriguez card here, 
So you've got Rodriguez that's down there. It's 1,100. Because he's in the solution links to Pizarro, he is more expensive. You don't need to do that. Just, there's no need to. The gold ones, you, they're relatively simplistic to do. Just go and find Argentinian player gold on, on football and do that. That's the easiest way you can do it. Don't do it this way. It's silly. It doesn't make any sense. You'll pay more coins than you need to. But let's talk about the silvers because that's really where the crux of the problem in terms of cost comes from, okay? Now, we go to... This is the SAF League, okay? Now, we're going to look at sort of 83s, 80, uh, 73, 72s. Here, it will tell you that Orban is 2,000 coins. It will say to you, right, that Orban card there is 2,000 coins. Now, if I go into the game, let's have a little look if he actually is 2,000 coins. He may well be, but I'm not sitting there going, no, it's definitely not going to be. He may well be. But if we go into the game, if we type in Orban, Lucas Orban, So he's actually, at the moment, 1,700 coins. He's 300 coins cheaper than Footbin says he is. The reason for that is Footbin does not update anywhere near as often as it needs to. It doesn't update silver prices anywhere near as often as it should do. In fact, it, in my opinion, it's poor with silvers. It's terrible with silvers. However, there is one better site in terms of checking prices for silvers, and that's Footwiz. And if you look, Footwiz, much more accurate. It's like 100 out. So there was one for 1,600, but it's only 100 out. In terms of price, it was updated one hour ago as opposed to Orban that was updated. Let's have a little look at Orban. If we go and check Orban, da, 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 da. that's not that one, it's this one here. If you look at Orban's price, when was that updated? Orban's price was updated. At any point you want to load footprint, that'd be brilliant. It was updated three days ago. Now, 2000, considering it was three days ago, isn't terribly like inaccurate, but it's also not the most accurate you're ever going to see. But I see a lot of people say to me, okay, cool. I, I see, I saw someone say, is it worth putting together the squads in your in your squad selector to, to do this SBC? And no, it's not at all. It's not. The worst bit of advice I could ever, ever give you guys is to say to you, get these players noted down and use the same players over and over again. Like I've seen so many people suggest. That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. You should be fluid. If you want to save coins and make coins from these SBCs, you should be fluid. Now, there's a reason why you can do it in squad building challenges. What you can do right now is you can go, okay, cool. Let me go to these, these, these squad building challenges. Let me go to the, I don't know, let's go to Sudamericana, for example. Actually, no, we'll do, we'll do Libertadores because we're looking at Libertadores right now. We can go to Libertadores and we can go, okay, cool. The quarterfinals requires a 72 rated squad. Um, exactly 11 players, okay? So we'll go into this one here as an example. Now, I know I need to get a 72 rated squad into this team. So I'm going to now go into Footbin and I'm going to look. And the thing that you need to do, and you need to do this, is bring up every single league that has these in it. Now, you can do this on the web app. Do I think the web app is the, most, be the best way to do this? Not really, in my opinion. But we'll bring up now. we bring up the SAF. We'll bring up the Commodore Libertadores League specifically, because Footbin now has that. So you can go onto Footbin and you can see the Libertadores League. We're then going to click on leagues here. And we're going to bring up the Liga de Mayor, which is another re a, a relatively decent league. We've got the Liga de Mayor. And then we'll also bring up the Chilean League, which I think is this way, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong here. I'm going to be wrong here now. Where's the Chilean League? SAF. Where's the Chilean League? They're not having a mixed game. What the hell? Let's go one. It should be really relatively early on. It should be next to CSL, realistically. Chilean League. Oh, that's it there. There we have got it. That's it there. So now these are the main leagues that I, I, I think you should look at. These are the ones you look at, okay? Now, if I know I need a 72 rated score on this one, I'm going to look at the leagues. I'm going to say, go for a game. Okay, cool. Let me look at the... Let's start with the, um, the Chilean league, for example. Now, you've got Pooch there for 500 coins. If he can get strong to strike up, for example, it's about being smart here. Now, there's no minimum. You've got to have, you've got to have a, um, a minimum of X-rated players in here. Can he get strong to anyone here? So I look at left wing and I go, okay, cool. He's there. Pooch is 500, apparently. So we've got there. We've got that Paredes there. So what I'll do is I'll go and check and say, okay, cool. For this SBC, it's a 442 SBC. You can see that. I'll go look on Footbin. Footwiz and go Paredes. I'll get him up and I'll look at Esteban Paredes and I'll go, okay, cool. What's it telling me roughly he's going to cost me? So now it's telling me that Paredes is actually 9,700 coins. So if I go to my Xbox, I'll have a little look and I'll go and check it. And now this whole process will not take you as long as you think it's going to take you because you're going to be able to eliminate the leagues that you can't use for this SPC right now, okay? Now, I'm, I'm admittedly, remember, I am recording this on a Tuesday. Is it the best day to record it? Not at all. Not even remotely. The best day to, to do is cheaper. The Paredes. So as you can see, there are no Paredes on the market 7K. So I'm straight away going to discount that Paredes card and go, okay, cool, he's not good. He's not good for me. But what I will do is I will note him down. 
So when it comes to it, get a spreadsheet. Go to Google Sheets. So for example, let's just get this one here. Go to Google Sheets. Just literally type in Google Sheets. And here you can literally make free online spreadsheets. So it's all in one place. And note down Paredes. Note down the rating. So get a spreadsheet up and note down the, ra the rating that he's going to be. Let me put that back in there. He's a 73 rated striker from the Chilean League. You know that now. You know that exists. And then we'll keep going down. So this, this squad needs a 72, rate, uh, 72 rated overall. Do we have any other strikers that we can go with? Because look, a lot of their players in the Chilean League are cheap. Very, very cheap. So we go and okay, go, okay, cool. Let's go striker there. 72 rated still. So is there a 71 rated striker? So we've got Henriquez there, right? So let's go. He's he, apparently he's 800 coins. Let's go type him into foot, foot words again. Henriquez. And we'll go Angelo Henriquez. Is he actually that price or is he a different price? So sorry, you guys aren't seeing that. Let me show you it here. So apparently he's actually 2,700 coins. So I go seen on this. Let's go Henriquez. I think I spelled that right. So Angelo Henriquez. Let's have a little look at what he actually costs. So 3,000 there. 3,000 or 2,000 coins there. So look, straight away, foot is up by sorry, 700 coins. So I know I can get my left mid and my striker link there. And if you look at Pooch, Pooch will not be what they say he is. There'll be more than this without a doubt. Pooch, for example. I can go Edson Pooch. And I can go, okay, what's he actually costing me? 6,000 there. Right, so straight away, he's, he's miles out, okay? He's miles out. But there's one big thing to note about this SBC. It is massively, massively important. And that is simplistically that you do not need to use silver cards for all these SBCs at all. So if you go to Libertadores, it's one thing I've learned massively. You go to Libertadores, it's a 72 rated team. Doesn't require max silvers for either of these ones here. So then I go, okay, cool. Let me go and look at the Argentinian League. And let me go look at other leagues. So I need... I need Silvers are, are not in supply right now. It's a Tuesday. Silvers aren't in good supply. So let me go to the Argentinian League. Let me see if I can bump the rating up on this in any way, shape or form. Can I find a cheap card from the Argentinian League? So Lopez, for example. He's an 81 rated striker at 1,400. Now, I'll show you this now. Lopez, 84 rated striker for 1,400. Let me go look for him on the transfer market and see if he's actually 1,400. He may be more than that. So let's go Lopez. And it's Lissandro. Can we get him for 1,400? We can indeed. In fact, we can get for 950. I'm going to go ahead and buy him and assign him now. And now I don't know if he's going to... Um, if he, I haven't got money, so we're going to go and buy him. So that Lopez sitting there now is 950 coins, okay? Now, you were looking at me watching those guys that were 72 rated, 73 rated, whatever, for 2,000 coins. Why is Lopez better right now? Because right now, everyone is continually opening packs. Massively opening packs. So why would I go and spend loads of money on a silver to make a silver rating up when now this squad, let's go to players, this squad that requires an 82 rated squad doesn't, doesn't have a maximum silver. And I see people go to silvers are too expensive. You don't need to use the silvers. You don't need to use them at all. Let me send him to club. Let me send him to club. You can use gold for this. You can go, right, let me buy some gold for it and then just use some silvers that you get. Cheaper silvers that aren't expensive. So there's Lopez there. Let's go and buy Lopez. We'll go stick Lopez in the team. So straight away, he's eight, nine ratings higher. Terrible mass. He's nine ratings higher than the requirements of this SPC. So I've given myself a massive amount of leeway straight away in terms of what I'm going to do. Now, if I look at this again, Marcone is 950 coins here, right? 950. Diaz, 950 apparently. Now, these are updated a lot more often. Let's go have a little look and see if they actually are 950 and whatever. Let's go have a little look. If we've got players... Chance of market. And we're going to look at Marcone, for example. And I, I just don't like this mentality that people are saying at the moment, oh, get these players ready and have a list and only use those players. No, it's nonsense. We're going to go and buy that Marcone. I think I might, I might have my club already, to be fair. If I do, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, so I've already got a Marcone, so we'll, we'll deal with him in a minute. And then we're going to go and buy that Diaz card. Now, there's a reason, method in my madness with Diaz, right? The reason why I like Diaz is because he's Chilean. Now, some of the Chilean cards are very expensive. Some of them are not. But he, he gives you the option to link out of the Argentinian League if it's too expensive. If it's too expensive to be in the Argentinian League for certain cards, you can link out. Now, let's look at Marcelo Diaz. Apparently, he's 950. He's not. He's 850. Okay? So, now, I've got a ridiculously high rated set of three cards. Now, I've got both these players in my club already. They will just replace the ones we're going to do for this SPC. Um, I've got a ridiculous set of cards here that are ridiculously high rated. and Well, well over what I could possibly even need for this SPC. 
Nowhere near what I need for this FBC. Okay, they're far higher than that. So if I now go CDM, and I look at these cards, I go, okay, cool. I've got Marconi there, and I've got Diaz there. Okay, they're two that I've got there. Now, if we swap these two cards around for now, I'm like, okay, cool. So right now, my rating is going to be extremely high compared to what it needs to be. So now let's start looking at the Chilean league. Now, I'm going to get the cards up from my club rather than buying them. Um, but I explained to you that we're looking at the price of them and I can start working it out. So I go to the, the Chilean league and I go, okay, cool. I don't need anywhere near the rating I needed before. So let's go and look at this Martinez. Let's go look at this Guerra. Let's go look at, I don't know, Morales. Let's see what else we've got in this club that we can use. This Re Rebeledo, I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, I could possibly look at the centre back here as well. Now, I can go compare price on this guy. Let's have a little look at what he costs right now. So he's 2,600 coins. Let's go look at the price of this Rebeledo, compare price. This Rebeledo, 1,200 coins, right? 800 coins, in fact. It's an 800 coin card. Now, you just saw that the Chilean League was making me pay 3,000 coins a card for some of these cards. I don't need to do that because I've got such a high rating here. I'll switch these, switch these two guys over. I can now look at this Morales and I can go, okay, cool, compare price. Let's look at what he's costing me. Right now, he's at 800 coins. So I don't need to go and buy that Edson Pooch for 3,000 coins. That means I'm going to have to buy players similarly priced because they're all going to be in around that value at that rating. So I can go use him instead. So I stick him in there. So straight away now, for the price of that Edson Pooch and for the price of the striker, that Paredes, which is 9,000 coins, which is ridiculous, I have now got myself, these guys sat here, much, much cheaper than, than they were before, much less coins. Let's go compare price on this Guerra. So the, the striker again, 2,200. Now, how much is that Henriquez card? If I remember rightly, let's go have a look at transfer market. Let's go have a look at Henriquez now. Henriquez. Henriquez. And now, even what I'm doing now, trust me when I tell you, this can be done even cheaper than I'm doing it right now. If you really go and look hard at the value that you need to spend on this on this SBC, so there's a 2,000 coin Henriquez there, right? So I'm going to go and buy this Henriquez now. Actually, do I, do I want to buy this Henriquez? I don't even think I need to. I could probably use something cheaper. So let's just go with this Huerta. This guy's going to be expensive. Watch. This guy will be very, very expensive. So I've got my card. I'm not going to use him. I'm like, well, no, actually. Why would I use him? So I'm going to stick in... If I get that Henriquez, it allows me to be really, really frugal elsewhere. So if we go Henriquez, let's go chance to market. We're going to buy him. Position striker. So we're going to buy this guy. Add him to my club. Add him to my squad. Now this SBC... According to Footbin, let me just check it to make sure before I give you a, a, like a ball. This is a 72 rated squad. This is the quarterfinals one. According to Footbin, right now on Footbin, this one should be 13k to do, right? 13k this should be. Now, we've so, so far, in terms of value, got about 6k, I think. Give or take of value in this, if that. I don't think it's even 6k. It's about 6k of value, right? That we've got. We still got to complete these SBCs here, right? We still got to complete the final part of these SBCs in terms of the centre backs, the goalkeepers, and whatnot. But we are at 58 chem. We need 95 chem in total. We're gonna to need some links from the Argentinian league. So now I'll go to the Argentinian league again, and I'll dip down into the Argentinian league. Let's just go league SAF. I'm gonna just check it again, and we're gonna be sensible about it. We're gonna look at players, for example, this Esquerdos, way above the need requirement that I need. But the point of the matter, the point of the, matter the moment is that silvers are in short supply, so it's more expensive. So I'm going to be frugal in what I do, be smart in what I do, and think, actually, do I want to go and spend all these coins? Do I need to spend these coins, or do I not need to spend these coins? Let's keep going down. I don't need anywhere near the rating on these. Let's go, let's look at this Cabral, for example. Let's look at this Fernandez. So I want to see what they're selling for on the, on the market at the moment. Barrios. Right, so I need a left mid. Let's compare price on this left mid. Look at that. 1,300 coins. So Edson Pooch, who was... I don't know, 3,000 coins. So I've seen people recommend the Chilean league left, right and centre. And be like, that's the only league I use. He's literally a, nearly a, a third of the price of Pooch, right? Fernandez, compare his price. So if you went and bought Fernandez, you'd be paying 3,600 coins. So you shop about. We go, okay, cool. This Barrios can go if we need him to go in. But again, I'm going to try and get it even cheaper if I can. Compare price on this Cabral. He is currently 1,800 coins. But this is Kierdos. Compare price on him. My guy, 1,500 coins. Coming down, 1,500 still. Great, you can get it cheaper than that. 1,400, 1,300, 1,400. So he's cheaper than the silver. So why would I use the silver? Go and buy the, use the Esquerdos. No problem, I can use the Esquerdos. That's not an issue to me at all. 
But now let's go. Right, okay. So we're now at about something in the region of about, give or take, again, about 8,000-ish coins on this. Now I'm going to go low to high on this league. I'm going to go low to high. And I'm going to go concept players. We're going to look at uh, Abando. We're going to go and look at Pizzy Canella. We're going to go and look at... Who else we've got in this league that we can use? Um, we have got... I will try, we've got to try and get Kem. So I've got to be relatively in, in sort of line with the chemistry. I can use this guy here if I need to. 3S. You can use him for now. I can use him if I need to. I really need it. What I could ideally do with is a left mid. That's really what we could do with here. I can go find one cheap if not. Um, although I could use like Monzon or something like that. But let's just quickly go to these guys here. Right, so let's look at Abando. I've got, I've got left mid. Abando, compare price on this Abando card. Right, 1,000 cards. 1,000 coins. 1,000 cards. 1,000 coins on him. Pizzi Canella. How much does he sell for? Right now, he's 550, right? 550 coins. Let's put him in the team. He brings the cost down massively. Let's look at his free ass. Compare price on him. 1,800. Again, I'm not going to use him. Why would I use a card or go out and buy him, for example? That's more the, the relevant point here. Monzon. Okay, cool. So that Monzon's 1,800 coins. Now I can... Let's wait for rate. We're at 88 now, so I don't even need to worry too much. I can just go cheaper. So Avalaneda, for example. How much does he sell for? 800 coins. 850, 700 coins. Let's go stick him in this team. Right? So now all I need to do is find myself a left back, basically. That's what I need. I need a left back. I don't think I even need left back. The centre back does a job, right? So this free ass, for example, we go... Who else we got here? We've got Huerta. How much was he going for? Compare price. So he's way too expensive. I'm not going to use him. Let me just look at the Chilean league. I can look at Chilean league. I don't really need to. Let's just find now. Let's go compare price. SAF, Argentina, low to high. Let me just see if there's anyone we can put in here that makes this cheaper. Way Gantz, does he work? He should work because he should get Kem. Compare price on him. So he's 2,000. The fullbacks are always more expensive. I don't want to use 2,000 on the fullback. Not a chance. Let's go transfer market. Let's go SAF. Let's go position centre back. And then let's search. Let's see if we can get any of them cheaper than they are right now. The centre back should do it. He should get Kem. I'm going to flick through. Because I'm only using players in my club right now. So I'm going to be again try and find one that's cheaper. So can we find one that's cheap enough here? I don't think we will. Uh, let's go 850, see if we can get any from there. What's it doing that for? I keep flicking through. I apologize if this, if this video is longer, but I'm trying to show you guys that it's about moving money to a club, checking prices. I've seen so many people say, these are specific players that I use. I've got a list of players that I use, and that's ridiculous. You've got to be smart in what you're doing. If people are opening up loads of gold packs, bump the rating up with gold players that are cheap. If people are opening up loads of silver players, buy the silver players that are cheap. It's about being frugal with what you're doing with your spend. Right, so we've got no... How have we got no centre-backs? This makes no sense. I, don't, I think the transfer market's glitched on this because there's no way there's no centre-backs in that league that are going for that. Um, let me go have a little look in terms of the transfer market. We'll play about with it. We'll play about the... Uh... So... Da -da 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 -da. Let's go left-back. League, SAF... Going the wrong way. Just waste my time. SAF League. Let's just see if we can get any that are that fall within it. Do, 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 do. Nope, none there. Let's go centre back. Get any that fall within it. I'm, I'm determined to do this exact this exact way. Like, I don't really want to be doing it any other way than this. I want to show you, this, this is how you've got to be if you're looking to make coins from these SPCs or save yourself coins. You've got to be on the ball and you've got to be willing to... So we've got Calderon, which is really annoying. It is a, a Sidi Americana. So none in there at the moment. So now I go, okay, cool. Let's look at left mids. Let's see if I can find myself a cheap left mid because I can put a left mid at left back and it'll still get Kem. So we've got Velasco, we've got him. We've got Centurion there. Keep flicking through. Do we have any at all? Any there? So the Americana is like, right now, this must be cheap to do so the Americana because usually these left mids hold much higher value than this. Uh, let's flick through. So there's no left mids. So now I've got to start thinking to myself, okay, cool. So how, how the best way that I can get Kem here? What is the best way that I can get Kem? I don't really want to spend more than a thousand coins on a player. Is there a way I can get Kem elsewhere? So I go to Liberty Dores. I go, okay, cool. 
Let's go back to our quarterfinals team and I say, okay, can I get Kem by potentially moving a centre back there and putting a, a, a cheaper? Now, how much is free ass, for example, or this Monzon? I just want to get an idea of what they're what they're costing. A Monzon's only eighteen hundred. Now, if I if I think about it to my head, right? So how much is this one here? Compare price on this Barrios. This Barrios is thirteen hundred right now. Let me write this down. Let me write this down. I want to get, get an idea of it. Let me put it into a calculator. Let's get this done. You guys are watching my thinking as I do it, and hopefully this is helping you guys. So Barrios is 1300, but plus the 850, 850, 950, 3850. This guy here, compare price, is, how much is he? 800 coins. We plus the price of him. So I want to know what wiggle room I've got in terms of what I've spent here. This Robaledo, 800, probably getting cheaper than that normally. You guys snipe them underneath that. Always remember as well, don't, don't do what I've done, except the price that you always see. You can always get it cheaper. Robaledo, 2,000 for the Henriquez that we bought. Again, not, I didn't need to buy that Henriquez at all, but I'm just going to do it for the for sake of this. You can get them a lot cheaper than that. Uh, Avalanada, 800 coins, 700 coins right now. So do the value right now. I think one of them was 550 to be fair. I don't think I even, he was 550 when I, when I saw him, so. And then this Isquierdos. is currently 1400, 1400, 1300, 1300, right? So this is an SPC that normally costs something in the region of roughly, give or take, um, 13,000 to do. Now, what I do want to do is I want to see if there's, if there's a striker I can get for the Chilean League instead of the Henriquez. I'll use them at some later point. But if we go to the Chilean League striker, we'll see if there's a cheaper striker that I can use because that'll bring down the cost of this to a degree. For example, Blandy right here. There we go. Like straight away. Perfect for it. Let's just see if we can get him because he will get a link either way. So let's see if we can get... So th does he get links? Does he get links to get here? He get a link to him and him. So he would get a strong link, so he's perfectly fine. So let's go get Blandy. Position striker. And again, I move it around. I wouldn't normally go and buy the players, but I'm trying to show you guys it as we do it. I'm going to put him in there. So now I can take off from that total I currently had. I can take off 1,100 for that Henriquez, because we won't be using him. We're at 8,350, right? This is a 13,000 coin SPC, apparently. That will change. I think the normal price list is about 11k, give or take. So this Monzon now is 1,000. Let's go and buy him. There we go. So 750, if I've got him at 750, I'm going to send these, leave these here basically, but 750 is what I paid for him. It's about being patient and taking my time. And now I've got Monzon here, who is, I'm going to just, did I just buy one at a different club? No, I didn't. I feel like I did. But 750 on him, plus 750. So we're at 9,100 for this SBC, right? 9,100. Now, I just want to check that one's on. As long, so even if he, it's irrelevant, as long as he's um, from that league, I don't care. It doesn't make a difference what league he's in, as long as it's... No, it's, it's the same one. So we picked him up 750. Patience. Patience is a virtue. So we've now got that SBC down for 9,100 coins. Now, that price does change all the time. I know the average I've seen it about is about 11, 11 and a half thousand. We've saved ourselves 2,500 coins on that SBC. Now, I made mistakes in terms of the fact I've gone out and bought certain Chilean players and certain players that I didn't need to buy at the time. Um, when I do it myself, I don't know, to be fair, I don't really do it this way when I do it myself. What I actually go and do is I do it in a way that I, I use the players in my club. I do League SPC method. It's completely free. But that, that's cost us 9,100 put together. We saved ourselves minimum of about 2,000 coins, okay? Now, if you were to save 2,000 coins from each of these SPCs that you see, right? Each of these SPCs here, there are nine. That's 18,000 coins you are saving yourself from the footbin price. Now, if the footprint price is 87,000 coins, you're doing it for 67,000, 68,000 coins. You're getting an 88 rated. All you need to do is make 28,000 coins from the players in this SPC to make yourself profit. But, so you've seen me in the, the way I've worked out and my working out when I do this SPC, right? But it is so important that you do not do what people are telling you to do, which is to note down the players you use and use those players. That is ridiculous. Do what I've just done there. Go, okay, cool. Right now, time, time is the most important thing to do with these SPCs. So time, what's been open right now? 
Gold players are, okay. Can I, am I allowed to use gold players in these SPCs? Yes, I am. Let me bump the rating up with gold players. Okay, perfect. I've gone and done that now. I've bumped the rating up. Because it doesn't matter if the SPC is 64 rated when you submit it. If it's cheaper than it costs you on footbin, who cares? Legitimately, who cares? Then what you want to do is get the leagues up and start going, okay, cool. What do these leagues look like? These leagues look like, okay, we've got Borja there. We've got, the, for example, the, the Liga de Mayor, in my opinion, is terrible. It's not one that you would use for the... 75 rates and 74 rates because they tend to be quite expensive. So I would use the Argentinian leagues, right? The Argentinian leagues, without fail, in my opinion, are your play for the this one, obviously, because it's Argentina anyway. This one here, this one here, this one here. They're all Argentinian league, in my opinion, and this one here, even to a degree. Because this one here, I mean, you can use Chilean league for this, but again, the Argentinian league, you can use gold to bump the ratings up. If you go and buy an 81 and a couple of 80s on that and spend 3k, you can literally go and put like 64 rated players in your team and make it much cheaper for yourself. From here is where your problems begin with the silvers. But what you do then is you move around and go, okay, cool. How do I get chem on these SBCs? You start to look at other SBCs. And one of the best ones that you can look at is a common ball Libertadores one. This one here. The players tend to be cheaper because they're much longer to link, harder to link on the market. People don't bother to, to search them on the market. So in my opinion, go and look. Because, for example, you were seen a minute ago when we were looking at the um, Argentinian League and the Chilean League. Because they're searchable on the market... Their right mids and centre backs and whatnot, they're this high rated, tend to be a lot more expensive. Now, I checked out Kraus a minute ago, that price is pretty accurate to what he is. Centre backs that do that for the Chilean league, for example, are 3,000 coins. So, for ones that are like hit here, 100%, the Sudamericana and the Libertadores leagues are your play. I promise you that now, you'll save coins, you'll do it for two or 3,000 coins cheaper, without fail. But again, pay it smart. Do half the SBCs that you can do with the gold players in the early week. Do the silvers late week. Do those after we get silver supply on Thursday. That will drive the price down massively. You'll see, but doing the method I've just done it, the way that I do it, and using footbin and footwiz. Use footbin to check the um, SBCs and the cars themselves. Use footwiz to check the prices. Then use your console to double check those prices to make sure you're doing it. Come up with a concept squad that's cheap enough. Um, get an idea of that. And then buy the players. Don't do what I did and buy Henriquez. I was buying Henriquez. I was, I was stupid buying Henriquez. Um, you don't need to do that. Come up with a concept squad. See the way that you can do that. If you can make coins from it and go, okay, cool. It's telling me that it should cost me, I don't know, 13k. However, I can get this done for 11k, 9k even, which is what I got it done for. Right now, it's saying it's saying on that on foot bin that it's 13k. I got it done for 9k. I know the average is about 11, 11 and a half k. I've saved myself 2,000 coins doing that one. Uh, I wouldn't normally bother buying players because they're always already in my club away, so that's not a thing. But that's how you compete these cheaply. It's all about time. Time is crucial. If you spend your time doing them, if you rush out and go, I'm going to buy this, buy that, buy this, buy that, it's nonsensical. If you waste your time by building pre-made concept squads with those players, it's nonsensical. You don't need to do that. You should be using your time to go, okay, cool. Let me check these players' prices myself. Let me make sure these are accurate. Let me make sure these, these work. You see me complete one in the way that I've done it. You see the way that I think about this and go, okay, cool. Can I bump the rating up? Can I buy a cheaper card? Do I want to spend 3,000 coins on this silver card? No, I don't because I know I can go buy... For 3,000 coins, I can go and buy three gold to that. For less than that, the bump the rating up means I can buy bronzes. And that's how you've got to think with these SPCs. You've got to be fluid in what you do. But hopefully that has helped you in terms of how to complete these SPCs. If you have any further questions, please comment down below so that I can answer those as part of part two of this video where I'm going to do bot one of these from scratch myself as cheaply as possible. You'll see my working out as I've done it. And so in terms of the fact that I'll show you what I've bought what I pay for them, compare them to a foot bin, save myself some coins, and then we'll open those packs up to show you guys exactly how you make coins. Uh, but that's going to be the end of the video. If you are new around here, please do consider subscribing down below, clicking the like button, all that good stuff. It's massively appreciated. But for now, lads, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you.